my beautiful Cancerians, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing fantastic. Getting ready here to do your reading. We're going to see what energy pulls through here for you in love. Uh, please know this reading may not resonate with everybody out there. Everybody's in a different phase in their love life. Uh, so keep that in mind. Also, uh, if you do enjoy this reading, as always, I appreciate all of your beautiful comments. Please comment, uh, like, uh, sh you know, let me know where you are, right? What uh, country, state, all that kind of stuff. Uh, also, if you saw my post today, yeah, words of appreciation. Uh, you know, what you put out into the universe is what you get back, okay? So keep that in mind just in general. I'm not saying you have to comment uh, that. But with that, let's get started, Cancer. Let's see what the energy is here for my beautiful Cancerians. All right. Interesting. Oh, well, right out of the gate here. Someone's really thinking about you. You're in somebody's thoughts. This can also talk about somebody who's thinking about you and they're feeling a bit overwhelmed is what I'm feeling here, okay? This could be somebody worrying. This could be somebody who has fears. Uh, definitely up in your head, okay? Now, you got here the until uh, debt tear us apart. This can talk about karma. This can talk about a contract with somebody. I'm also going to say here too, this could be somebody who is learning a karmic lesson. Um, I had another uh, thought, but I kind of over, overlooked it for a moment. Let me see if it comes back to me. This also talks about, I think I may have lost it, but it talks about adversity, okay? and structure so there's something here i feel it's also saturn energy i also feel like this is this is somebody i feel who is trying to find some sort of solution in a situation with you cancer somebody i feel who's trying to bring back stability to this connection and i'm going to say if love doesn't resonate with you it can be anybody in your life but I see here you got the unexpected, okay? So I feel like there's something unexpected that's about to happen. Um, it almost feels, uh, you know, I definitely get kind of a faded energy here with the karma, okay? Rewards. This could be reward after sacrifice, okay? Whether it's somebody making something right with you, whether, you know, uh, this is somebody that you have wanted to, wanted some sort of change to happen but the thing with the unexpected it's unforeseen so something unforeseen maybe something that you don't uh think is going to happen uh, there definitely could be some sort of breakthrough here this is somebody taking decisive action it's also around clarity it's also some sort of truth there could be some sort of truth that comes out in a situation. And look at the next card is, I was just talking about it, karma, justice. This talks about balance. So I really feel, uh, Counselor, there is somebody who is strongly thinking about you. And I feel like this is someone who is kind of planning here how to do the right thing, um, or make something right with you, okay? And this may be part of their karma, right? This, you know, some of you, if you feel, some of you, this could be a karmic contract between you and this person, and it's, it's in the contract here for this person to make things right. So let's see what the tarot has to say. What else can you share with Cancer? All right, two cards came out here. Wow, look at that. First two cards out. Could be a fire sign, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So it definitely, you know, the Page of Wands is also someone who plans, okay? Someone who's planning, yep, and that's what I see here. They're planning here, okay? Could be planning communication. I'm going to say for some of you, it could be planning 
uh, some sort of change to change the energy. I also see the Eight of Wands as a shift in the energy. But somebody too who is feeling very passionate about you, okay, coming towards you. Bottom of the deck here, you do have the Four of Swords, which tells me this is somebody mentally preparing to come towards you. Let's see what else comes through for you, Cancer. What else does Cancer need to know about this person coming towards Cancer? Okay, there's another, oh, another card. Yeah, Nine of Cups, that's the wish here. Look at that, bottom of the deck here, page of coin. They want the opportunity, and this also tells me, see, it's right there with communication. You're going to get some sort of message from this person, but let's keep going. Yeah, it's faded. I said it, the Wheel of Fortune here. It's faded. Look at that. Ace of Cups. It's faded for you and this person, I feel, to come together. Some of you, it's healing. Some of you, it's a new start in love with this Ace of Cups. Yep, there it is. Again, communication. Two pages here. Hmm. Interesting. You know what, Cancer? All right. I'm going to keep going before I say anything. Communication. This can be an apology with that page of cups. You do have the high priestess. I do see this as your energy. Now, this can also tell me there's something unknown here. Okay. Remember I said here's some sort of truth, some sort of clarity, something unknown here. But like I said, this is this person's wish. This could be unknown to you. Look, it's on the bottom of the deck here. You got the Emperor, Divine Masculine Energy. So Cancer, there's a Divine Masculine here, I feel, coming towards you. There's communication. You're heavily on this person's mind. You know, at first I felt like this is a past person. It doesn't have to be, actually. This could be a new love, all right? Somebody that you have um, a past life soulmate connection with. So very interesting. Let's uh, let's let's go through this really quick, and we'll clarify. You have the Page of Wands, and you also have here the Ace of Cups. Someone is seriously really thinking about you, Cancer. Okay, they're seeing a lot of happiness, fulfillment. Some of you, it could be healing, right? There there could be some healing here. This can also talk about healing. Yep, look at that, Knight of Swords, another card here of communication. This person is feeling a bit anxious. They're feeling a bit impulsive. Uh, this is also the Eight of Swords energy. This is someone who's been holding back. Holding back, I feel, about maybe really what they want to say, what they want to communicate is what I'm really picking up here. But let's clarify that Page of Wands. Tell me more about this Page of Wands. Okay, yeah, look at that, Nine of Pentacles. They're very attracted to your energy there as the Nine of Pentacles. This feels like somebody, could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and it's not about male or female, it's about the energy. I want to pull another one before I say anything. Why is the Page of Wands here? Okay, two of pentacles, yeah. So they've been holding back. They've been planning here. It's almost like they're going back and forth um, about the situation. You do have the Knight of Cups. There's something that they want to say. They want to express. Some of you, it's just that they want the romantic opportunity with you. I do see a Ten of Pentacles. Oh my gosh, look at that. Ten of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. So this is someone who could already have feelings for you. They're seeing a future together. They're very up in their head about this. Okay, they're trapped in their thoughts. But it also can tell me here that this is new love. Okay, somebody here who, it's somebody definitely that you know. So this may be somebody who feels a very strong spiritual connection, and it can be that past life uh, connection that I said there with the uh, debt terrace apart. But I'm going to say this could also uh, tell me that there's something coming to you after, you know, reward after sacrifice. All right, the Three of Pentacles came out, okay? And I was just talking about until debt tears apart, so I feel like it's meant there. There's someone here with that Three of Pentacles, definitely wants to come together with you, 
wants to work on this connection. It's also about building a foundation, taking the steps is what I'm really feeling there, okay? I also see the Three of Pentacles as an energy. This could be something like, they could be working on something like kind of doing something big or something to show you, um, you know, that they want the energy here to change between the two of you, that they do feel very passionate about you, okay, or very connected. But this person has been going back and forth in their mind. Some of you are just going to say it could be um, a, a person that thinks of kind of the energy has been on and off with you and this person. Tell me more about, gosh, tell me more about this Eight of Wands. Tell me more about this Eight of Wands. Okay, Six of Wands. Oh my gosh, Cancer and the Lovers. Strong Gemini energy. Yeah, they feel a lot of passion for you. Uh, this is someone who wants a victory here, wants your attention. Yeah, they're coming towards you, Cancer. Bottom of the deck, you have the Strength card. Could be a Leo. This is somebody who is gaining the courage to come towards you. I'm going to say for some of you, if, if, if you feel this is a past person, this could tell me that uh, they're trying to gain the strength and the courage to come towards you. Let's see why this High Priestess is here. Tell me more about this High Priestess. Tell me more about this High Priestess. Okay, interesting because you have the tower and you have the tower there too. Again, something unexpected. Now you do have the Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. And I'm going to pull one more. Why is the tower here, please? Why is the tower here, please? Oh my gosh, Ten of Pentacles. That's the unknown here. Whoever this is, they want to work towards something stable, secure, long-lasting. Okay, so that's kind of what I feel with the moon card. Could be a Pisces or a Cancerian. This is the unknown here. This is what you're not seeing right now. You have the page of wands here too. I mean the page of wands, the ace of wands. Again, a new beginning. That's the wish here. Now, some of you, there could have been some sort of conflict between you and this person, but it also can talk about sudden news. And like I said, there's an energy here of um, this person planning. They're thinking here. There's something they want to say, they want to express. Right now, I feel with the trapped in their thoughts, the only thing that's holding this person back is a little bit of fear. Tell me more about the Wheel of Fortune. Tell me more about this Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, the Two of Wands. That's what it said. This person is planning. There's two cards popping out here. Cancer energy, your energy. Yep, they're planning here. Two of Wands to the Three of Wands. There's something here about change, planning, okay? Two of Wands is very intentional. So they already have the intention that they want to come towards you. They're thinking about the future here. Let's clarify that Ace of Air up there. Tell me more about the Ace of Air. Tell me more about this Ace of Air. Wow. Wow, King of Pentacles. Could be an Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. You have the King of Pentacles, and you also have here the Emperor. This is someone taking a decisive action, okay, or I should say they're planning, because the Two of Wands is also a card of planning. They're planning, and they're taking some sort of decisive action here. They want this opportunity with you. See, interesting, because again, trapped in their thoughts, they're trapped in their thoughts. I even see like this person is kind of obsessing a bit. Could be a uh, Capricorn. Let's see why the Emperor is here. Tell me more about this Emperor masculine energy. Again, the Emperor is a planner. Tell me more about this Emperor. Tell me more about this Emperor. Oh my gosh, I just can't make it up. Okay, Ace of Pentacles. I told you this person is really seriously planning something here for the future 
They're seeing a future with you, Cancer. But right now, all that's holding them back is a little bit of fear. You do have uh, the Strength card here again. They're trying to gain the Courage and the Page of Pentacles. Okay, they see this opportunity with you. And I'm going to say this, Cancer, because, um, you know, I don't know if people don't watch the readings long enough. But I feel like this could be anybody. It doesn't necessarily have to be a past person. Like I said, it could be a past life soulmate energy. I'm picking up. This could be somebody like newer, okay? Newer, you know, whether you're dating, whether it's a friend, whether it's an acquaintance. Um, I do feel like you know this person some sort of way because they are in their thoughts about you, okay? Let's see what the Kipper cards have to say. What else does Cancer need to know about this situation? What else does Cancer need to know about this situation? Okay, yeah, see? There's a path here. There's a path, and look, you have here unexpected. Something about this is very unexpected, Cancer. Yeah, someone, it could be somebody older than you. It could be somebody who is wise or mature. I'm going to say here too, this could be someone well-traveled or they may live at a distance. And look at this main person here. Somebody here around you wants the opportunity. This is what you're not expecting. There's somebody here who wants to be like that main person in your life. This is so interesting, Cancer. What else can you tell Cancer about this person? Hmm. Some of you may work with this person or some of you may have uh, something in common when it comes to work is what I'm really picking up there. Okay. Interesting. So you have here despair and you also have here false person. Um, some of you, I'm just going to say, yeah, it can be somebody here from the past. Somebody, you know, I'm just going to say doesn't necessarily have to be the last person you were with. I feel for some of you, you do have judication here. So that does tell me that this definitely could be somebody from the past. That's not going to be everybody. But I do feel like this could be somebody maybe in the past. You didn't see this person as somebody that you could be with whether you dated this person or not, or whether they were a friend. Um, I feel like, too, this could be somebody I'm feeling, too, somebody who was not available in the past. This could also tell me this is someone who just came out of a divorce. Um, I'm feeling here, or a legal separation is that energy. Okay. And they could have been with somebody else who was not the right person for them. And like I said could have come out of some sort of relationship that could also tell me why this person has some fears trapped in their fears um, because maybe they had a relationship that didn't work out and you know that's the fear there of you know being in something new right but let's see what else what else can you share with cancer about this person okay courthouse you have justice you have house and you have, oh, interesting. You got mature woman and mature man. Interesting. I see a couple there. It's not about male or female. It's about the energy. But I see two mature people. So it almost feels with the courthouse here. Courthouse can talk about a legal document. I'm just going to say cancer. This could be somebody, okay, either they own a home or this is somebody who sees the potential of you and them buying a home together is what I'm really picking up. Look at this. You're not going to believe this. So you had man, main male and you have main female, okay? I don't know, Cancer. This feels like somebody that is aligning with you, okay? Mature, you know, two mature people, main female, main male. And look, it's also on the bottom of the deck. You also have here the lovers, okay? Two people here. Uh, that can be my past life soulmate connection. Two people who are drawn to each other. 
magnetism, chemistry. You got the lovers again here two times in your reading. Very interesting, uh, Cancer. So let's see how you see this person and how they see you. Okay, so I'm going to use what deck do I want to use? I know what deck I want to use. Oh, here it is. I didn't see it. Okay. So let's see uh, now how you see this person and how they see you. Thank you, Spirit. How does Cancer see this person right now? How does Cancer see this person right now? You know, I really uh, feel like I want to clarify that person up there, the thoughts. You know, maybe it would help if... I'm going to do uh, one card from each of these. It got true heart hidden feelings and the burning rose shadows. We're going to see here. What is this person thinking about? Okay. Interesting. Okay. So they're feeling a bit anxious and they're feeling a bit impulsive is that an energy, right? They've been holding back, but it's almost like this person wants to break free of that and they want to do something. What is this person's true heart hidden feelings? Okay, so spiritual, okay. They feel a sacred connection with you, okay. So that's the other thing here that they're thinking about. They feel a sacred connection with you. They feel also a very um, intense in, and uh, can even be a very intuitive connection with you, okay? Look at that. You also have here the fairy tale. So they see, you know, they're envisioning a future, a happily ever after. That's the fantasy here. This is what this person is, I feel here, really up in their head about. Now, let's go back to... So, yeah, this person is, is truly envisioning something with you, Cancer. They're seeing happily ever after with you. But they're, they're feeling anxious about it. I feel about coming towards you. How are you seeing this person? How do you see this person? Okay, you see momentum, okay. This can talk about... You may see this as somebody who moves slowly, I feel, takes small steps. Um, I feel like you know you know who this is, I feel. And I feel like you want this person, like they need to move more quickly. This feels like somebody moving very slowly, like in your eyes, and you want this person to move quickly. You want things to charge ahead, okay? It's almost that energy, like you want things to move before you uh lose interest before you lose all interest <laughs> okay uh but it, it may not be somebody that you quite know right that feels this way for you so that may not resonate with everybody okay you've got divine vision here all right so you may see this as somebody again it could be a spiritual connection like I said, your intuition may already be telling you a lot of this about this person. Uh, tell me if that resonates uh, in the comments. But it may also be here that, um, you know, like I said, you just may feel a very strong spiritual connection with this person. And you may see this person as positive, okay? Or somebody that you want you want to look deeper into the situation with this person okay now let's see how this person sees you how does this person see cancer how does this person see cancer oh my gosh i can't make it up partnership and look what's on the bottom of the deck commitment Commitment, somebody who wants to be all in. What's the mutual energy here between Cancer and this person? What's the mutual energy here between Cancer and this person? Okay, hidden secrets. Okay, so this can be an energy. Now, there may be something unknown, unexpected here, right? But it also can be this energy of 
things may not appear as they seem okay it's an unseen energy it can be somebody who's being very sly you know planning here let's get another one what else is the mutual energy here between cancer and this person it can also be a very cautious careful energy too okay this could tell me like you're really listening to your intuition because you do got divine vision here okay um some of you see this person as your divine counterpart you also have here poor choices okay so i talked about being careful and cautious some of you it may be you know somebody here you've already had some pattern with um and there were some poor choices that have happened in this connection but others i feel like this is really about you listening to your intuition because you may feel like you've made some bad choices and it could be for this other person too so it can also talk about being very cautious and maybe not making any rush decisions yeah you do have hurtful events okay now that can just be like i said you and this person may have both had hurtful things that have happened in relationships in the past and that could be an energy where you and this person are kind of marrying each other and both very cautious but can also tell me this is someone you that hurt you in the past so let's uh let's keep going i feel like i'm going to do some untold truths here thank you spirit what else does cancer need to know please share it with cancer what they need to know okay curiosity yeah somebody is very curious about you they want to connect with you oh infatuation okay someone is really infatuated with you this can be an energy of adoration okay you could also be dealing with someone who is kind of like that compulsive energy i did get a very anxious uh energy uh with your person you also have your spirit okay signs and synchronicities some of you are getting signs and synchronicities that's part of the spiritual connection that you and this person share uh it's also an energy of being protected at this time okay yeah conflicted that can tell me that this is someone who has been inconsistent with you okay so this could be someone who gives you mixed signals or you know for those of you who have a longer history with this person it could be somebody who has been very like hot and cold on and off can't make a decision type of energy and you also have here purifying okay uh, this can tell me a uh, different things okay this could be somebody where um i don't know I, in this picture i'm seeing mint leaves i don't know if mint leaves are healing they may be uh, you know a lot of plants have healing properties so this is definitely a card here of healing i don't know maybe mint is important to you i don't think that's a mint leaf but i'm seeing that spirit's showing me that so i don't know mint may be important to you but this is also clean energy so this tells me that whatever the mixed signals are or whatever the conflict is here or the on and off or inconsistency that tells me it's changing here whether it's through healing whether it's um this person coming towards you who is planning here um and i feel like there is someone coming towards you it does feel i have to say it does feel a genuine energy it doesn't feel toxic i have to put that out there because i will always get the, the comment about this person's toxic you know i don't want to be with this person i'm not getting a toxic energy here now there could be right there could have been arguments there could have been on and off with this person all right but i'm not getting like a strong toxic energy i'm getting a genuine energy of somebody coming towards you you also have here uh euphoria okay and that tells me i feel like when you and this person come into union right if you're open to it that this is uh that joy and happiness of you and this person coming together and feeling um a feeling you have felt before 
either felt before or with this person. And I feel it's too also that past life soulmate energy that I'm picking up. So Council, I think I'm going to leave it at that. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.